Hi kids, Anjana is back with you here from Vidya Prakashan Mandir, and we are powered by Max Max. I believe you are following us, you are listening to us, and the queries, the questions, the mails, the phone calls that are coming from you, they are just showing how excited you all are looking at the videos which we are bringing for you. And today is another windy day when we are here in the premises of SD Public School, a very huge school. So in our journey ahead, today we are going to visit a very renowned school in near NCR, that is SD Public School. And here we have Principal Mrs. Neela Mahana, who is a great educationist and has a vast experience of teaching more than 25 years. She's a physics expert and she's principal for last five years and she's going to just calm down your queries and she's going to satisfy and answer the mails that we have received. So come, let's visit the school. So today we are with Mrs. Neelam Mahana, a renowned principal and a subject expert. And let's see how much she's going to help our children. So many questions are coming around. Let's first look at the questions which we have got through mails. So the first question, ma'am, for you is, ma'am, the child says, ma'am, my question is, should we revise all the syllabus by practicing in writing? See, if I talk about, uh, I'm a physics expert, if I talk about physics, you cannot practically, you know, it is not possible to revise everything by writing. Yes. So the best way, uh, what I have taught my children, and the best way to, you know, revise things is to make a mind map or a concept map. And you must have studied about these in your English classes, right? Just take up a topic say for example if I take a, a refraction of light or light suppose I take light so then what are the topics which you have studied so you can you know put arrows and all okay, okay I have studied refraction and then what happened in refraction you studied about total internal reflection also you studied about laws of refraction also so those flow chart so these mind map those flow charts those concept maps they are the best way to revise things. So once you have made the entire map for the chapter, now the entire chapter is in front of you. And now you know, if you hesitated somewhere, that was the point where you need to revise those things. Yes. Right. So right. The, those concept maps, those mind maps, they are wonderful things to revise. And then you can also write, okay, what were the formulas involved in those chapters? Yes. So he, there also, so chapter wise, you are getting the list of the formulas also. Mm -hmm. And somewhere you hesitate, ki, what was it this, was it that? Just circle it and then go back and then revise that particular thing. And you right. would find yourself to be 100% confident after making that map. Very and nice. that map would be, you know, a uh, tool for revising at the very last minute also that yes is so so nicely explained i'm so glad i'm here with her <laughs> so she's going to satisfy all your queries all your tolerance and see one parent is asking ma'am being a parent i just want to know how if a child shows negligence throughout the academic year most of the children oh are my. like that yes <laughs> and the child feel very low during the exam and less time is left for the preparation mm. how can a parent help the child at that time right at that moment right. of time yes so here the parents role is the most important yes because I mean. you know uh, the entire uh, time has been wasted and mm -hmm. now you have the last moment mm -hmm. with you, the parent has to be a rock support for the child first. Rather, all. parent also gets so yes. excited right. and panicky. Yeah, panic they they get jittery. Mm. So there, the parent has to be a rock support. Yes. And then the parent has to motivate the child. No, you will be able to do. Mm -hmm. We have some time left with us. Yes. Whatever time we have, let's make the most of it. And now, as a parent, the parent might not know the subject. 
the yeah. parent might not know it often happens. Uh, it hop often happens so the pa what the parent can do is the parent can take the help of the teachers mm -hmm. okay, what are the easy topics which my child can do yes. at this moment right because at that moment in the last minute if you go for very difficult topics mm -hmm. the child would definitely get jittery and panic exactly right Agreed. so ask just consult the teacher okay, how can i help my child mm -hmm. right the teacher would be able to tell okay these are the easy portions which the child should do yes and you know in uh, physics if i talk about mm -hmm. physics definitions then uh, derivations and then diagrams they form a major chunk yes so even if the child goes for definitions then uh, you know diagrams mm -hmm. and an easy uh, simpler of derivations yes, yes. Uh, the child is good to go yes. right they are there not is, getting um, yeah. like feeling any difficulty right, right. there that. is no need of getting panic mm. and yes you get you know sample papers uh, questions in the mm -hmm. market so just solve three four questions because now it is the last time you don't have that much of time right. but just solve those you will get confidence similar to that similar to that right, right. that way mm -hmm. so that is very really, but here uh, i would request the parents please do not get panicky please do not get angry with your you know yes. children that for the entire year mm -hmm. you have done nothing because at this time your support is the most important thing which the child can get that is the only thing yes good yeah you are really motivating the parents mm -hmm. i am truly with you i agree <laughs> yes, with your yes. statement yes yes because so, you know parents are the only thing like the parents are there with the child Yes. and if and they are 24 hours mm -hmm. like mother is 24 hours so if the child gets jittery also the parent should you know just key, give a touch therapy mm -hmm. Ki, beta, we can do anything we yes. still have time yes. left you'll be able to do we mm -hmm. will be able to that do. was right. going to boost the confidence yes. of that, the child yes mm -hmm. so the child would right will not feel nervous yes. he, he will get assurance mm -hmm. from his parents and he would know that my parent is with me otherwise that parents is. have a role to just burst yes. out uh -huh. on the children uh -huh. and that, that should not be done should at the last done. hours perfect uh, yes and now parent monica mm -hmm. pathania and mm -hmm. she has a question hello ma'am i have a question for you how can the student express his thoughts in the question paper that means it's a general question it's a general question yeah. Uh, see while expressing if you wish to write something mm -hmm. right first of all frame those sentences when you frame because you know when you frame sentences you think you frame sentences mm -hmm. then when you frame sentences try to think can I do it in a better way yes. because um, when you are expressing your thoughts you have to be you know very very uh, clear mm -hmm. that clarity should be there yes. but at the same time your vocabulary you know should also be um, not general vocabulary say if i am i want to say kind and if i say benign mm -hmm. or so you know benign uh, looks much better and yes. then a kind or if i want to say generous you can say benevolent yes. so that way you have to reframe your sentences how can i enhance this statement so it take time do not just start writing frame those sentences try to think can i frame it in a better way mm -hmm. then write it take your time because you know expressions they are they carry if i uh, talk about language so content also carries weightage so half of the weightage is carried by the content but expressions also do carry weightage half Agree. So, yes, very you know, so your expressions have to be good yeah. and presentable. Of course, presentable. Right. Mm. And then, uh, you know, today we were knowing we are coming to physics experts. So many questions by mail were coming. Mm, that physics, yes. yes. Physics, they are so scared of physics most of the time. And uh, one question has come. What is more important, ma'am? Uh, is it derivatives, numericals or theory in physics? See. Uh, physics may say we cannot say what is more important mm -hmm. because uh, derivations are a part of theory only mm -hmm. you cannot segregate uh, derivation from theory it's a part of theory and uh, when you derive when you derive you have to draw diagrams whether it is a ray diagram whether it is a flow chart whatever but you have to draw a diagram to uh, derive an expression yeah, exactly. or a formula mm. and once you are deriving the formula obviously you know you can apply that formula to a numerical yes. right so that clarity should be there mm. so 
in physics basically i say you know three d's are very important mm -hmm. the definitions the derivations and the diagrams mm -hmm. because they form the major chunk right. and then you have conceptuals and numericals mm -hmm. they are a bit tough for students who do not study throughout the year mm -hmm. but if the child is methodical meticulously planned and if the child has learned the numerical uh, i'm sorry the uh, these uh, derivations yes. have understood mm. i lear by learning i don't mean mugging oh, yeah. have understood how the derivation how this numer formula has been derived he would be able to do the numerical mm. also they are completely so based they, are, they are entirely interlinked yes right yes but don't mug up things children understand understand because you know even if you derive things nowadays the concept has changed uh, till like as long as we were students and as long as i was teaching the the pattern of question papers were different right uh, now uh, the question paper is based on higher order thinking level skills questions yes. right so more of understanding more of uh, you know application more of creativity mm -hmm. you know if you see the bloom's taxonomy yes. the highest level is the creativity exactly. right uh, so uh, though the questions are more of those higher mm -hmm. order uh, thinking mm -hmm. le levels of uh, Bloom's taxonomy. So, if I talk about the application of Gauss theorem and if I, uh, you know, I know the derivation, but then I should also understand what would happen if there is a change over here. What would happen if there is a change over here? What would happen if the charge is moved from this place to this Implementation place? Implementation so, in right, the real life. Yes. So, how they would be applied? in your day-to-day -day life basically these are high order level thinking questions yes. so uh, try to understand those concepts say for example if i talk about young's double slit experiment it's fine the, you know the derivation everything but what would happen to the fringe width if D is changed, if S is changed, if the slit, if the distance between the two slits is changed, right? If the entire apparatus is immersed in another liquid of different refractive index, what is going to happen? So I know the derivation. Do I know the implications? What is going to happen? So that is more important now. So just mugging up things will not help you. Yes. So understand. So, I believe you are getting confident. Yes, you are ready to get set go. Yes, come. We have our next question with me. Uh, like mathematics, does physics numerical and derivatives have step marking? Uh, yeah, every time. Right? It's not even derivatives and um, uh, numericals. Um, in board examinations, there is step marking for Every question, every question. So at any step, if they are yes. getting wrong, still they are, they are going Don't to... Don't worry. You suppose you wrote the formula correctly, you will get some mark for the formula also. Suppose you, uh, you know, applied all the, you put all the values correctly. Yes. You were doing correctly and the last step, the answer went wrong. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. You would lose half a mark. That is all because you've done everything correctly. Exactly. So And make mm -hmm. sure you are putting the values correctly. Correctly. That is important. Yes. And uh, see, uh, children, you need to understand that as educators, we people, we do not want to know that what you don't know, right? We want to know what you all know. So you take things positively, very positively. Never panic, give me a question. I, I, my question went wrong. My, I, I didn't get the correct answer. Mm -hmm. So what? You wrote the formula correctly. You put the, you put you substituted all the values correctly. Mm -hmm. So you have done something. You will get marks. It's yes. only your calculation part went wrong. So you will lose marks for that only. So be very positive. I believe you are going to just relax the toss and turns <laughs> going in their mind. I yes. should. As a physics teacher and as a principal, it's my social responsibility yes. also. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I so know. we have next question, ma'am. Uh, the question is, uh, what are your top three tips to take the physics examination? Yeah, you know, again, I said uh, the three Ds are very important. Yeah. The three Ds, uh, just to ace the examination, I'm not saying to, you know, just uh, be the like score 100%, but hmm. if you wish to, right, yes, if you're getting panicky and um, right, uh, you're not confident about yourself, mm -hmm. so first, uh, revise your definitions, your derivations, your diagrams. Once you're very thoroughly done with this, 
be cool be calm you have you know covered 75 percent of the things mm -hmm. right after that go for numericals uh, which are directly based once you've done that also and there is one thing also one uh, thing which i would tell you because children get confused uh, about the formulas to be used in the numericals because lot many formulas are there so the one suggestion which i would tell uh, give you is that um, if you take the chapter of uh, electricity and if you take the chapter of magnetism the formulas you can prepare an analogy right they are very similar very similar if there is an electric field there is a formula for magnetic field if there is electric flux there is a formula for magnetic flux so analogy create an analogy and you will never get confused right so um, these are the things which you should uh, you know keep in mind mm -hmm. and then at the end if you wish to if you have time then go through uh, you can prepare your concept map as i said and the last minute revision should be of your those concept maps and mind maps yes you would really really do well hmm. good hmm. and i have one last question how should I manage my anxiety issues? Uh, and I'm very scared that I won't be able to good, get good score in my exams. So please motivate me. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this might be coming from so many children. They uh, need motivation. Right, they right. need to bring their anxiety levels yes. down low. Yeah. Uh, first of all, their children, as I said, uh, you know, study well, put in more hours of study, and yes it's a very natural thing to be anxious very natural even we at this age if you are asked to appear for any examination we will also get jittery be uh, close to your parents share your feelings with your parents then your schools must be having counselors also right share your feelings with the counselors counselors are the best people to speak to hmm. and they are available then share your feelings with your teachers also okay i'm feeling problem i'm having some problem over here the teachers are there you know at the time of examination the teachers are also there to help you 24 by 7 they also right. want our they children also, to they score also, good yes, yes so that way don't be anxious don't be nervous there is everybody is there to help you out mm. so why should you feel anxious don't be right and last minute jittery jitteriness is very very normal just um, keep your cool right don't panic and uh, last minute revise your uh, you will not be able to revise everything in the last minute so just go through your concept maps your mind maps your flow chart your charts of the formula if you have made and that is all and see say tell yourself i have put in my best yes that's very right. important tell yourself i have put in my best now I will give my best. That's all. Once you say that to yourself, you see you will feel very confident about yourself. And you should do it every day. I'll yes. tell you. As when a teacher, you begin I will, your day yes. in the morning, you must see. come out with positive thoughts. Yes. The moment, yes. So positivity, you tell yourself. Right? And the, again, there is a request as a principal, as a teacher, to all the parents to motivate your students during these days you can do wonderful you can do wonderfully well you can do wonders like as a parent you have to tell your child don't scold for what he has not done for the entire year just motivate the child be a rock support for your children and your children will do well so we are very happy and we are so thankful to mrs neelam mahana that she has given us time and she has so well explained each and everything to our students so that i believe now you are going to come out with flying colors and you are like to blossom in the garden of your schools our best wishes are with you mm, all the best dear children do well okay bye bye thank you so I believe the interaction was fruitful and the low 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 arms going in your brain have just calmed down the exploded pods have relaxed by now so and we are going to just say goodbye I'm signing off looking forwards for more queries more comments so that by the time we visit next principal next subject expert you are just ready with your more questions to come up Goodbye for now.